Just one foot in front of the other. Seems simple enough, right? Well, maybe not while you're wearing impairment goggles. USCPD gathered on Green Street today to put students to the test using goggles that imitate what it looks like to be drunk or high. The goggles range from slightly impaired to almost five times the legal limit, and a golf cart course was created to test students driving while their vision was hindered. Looking at the course itself, it doesn't seem too difficult, but let's try it for ourselves. As you can probably imagine, I didn't do so well on the course. Other students started to take part as well and noted how difficult it was to see with the goggles. It felt scary because it was almost like every cone was like, there were like three of, like one cone was like three cones. As funny as it was to watch myself fail at driving through the cones, it posed an uneasy feeling about the dangers of drunk driving. In a study released by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration in 2022, alcohol-related deaths in South Carolina rose to 474 a 72% increase from 2019, putting South Carolina as the fifth highest state for drunk driving deaths. Sergeant Kyle Gilbert says students need to know about these dangers, especially with two popular bar areas close to campus. Our main goal is just to keep, keep the students safe, keep the community safe. So it's DUI is 100% preventable. Um, so you know, just want to show people the importance of not getting behind the wheel impaired. By hosting these events in the center of campus, USCPD hopes to teach a valuable lesson hands-on. For SGTV News, I'm Grace Berkery.